You have been interviewed on a daily basis by the world media for over a month. What role does the media have in your vision? Can somebody's life be changed by seeing you once on a television screen? It is possible. Life functions very mysteriously. Just seeing a picture, reading a certain statement, seeing my face on the television, may prove the triggering point. There are millions of people in the world who are just on the border line. A little push, or a little pull. And they would have crossed the line. It is simply a matter of your heart being touched. It can be touched by anything. Just my voice or just the gesture of my hand. It is unpredictable because what is going to happen to an individual's heart, what is going to touch it, is difficult. Perhaps my silence, the pause that always happens between two sentences, are sometimes even in the middle of a sentence. May still something which is already there, just a little push, a little pull, and the person will never be the same again. And whatever he has tasted in that moment will grow on becoming a deep longing to come closer to me, to know more about me, to know more about the work that is happening, to know more about people who are around me. And these are the ways slowly a person enters into the energy field I am creating. Talking to the world media is not just publicity. I have had up it enough. It is in fact using new methods of reaching people's hearts. So it does not matter what they ask, it does not matter what I answer, what matters that people will be seeing my hands, my eyes, and they are bound to be. Affected. This way or that, 
either they may fall into a certain love or they may start from the very moment to hate me but whatever happens hate or love i have touched their heart to change their hate into love is not difficult the most difficult thing was to reach to their heart which has happened those who are in love will be looking for books tapes videos and those who are in hate they will also be looking for the same things and once a man becomes emotionally connected with me as a friend as an enemy he is part of my people the enemies also are part of me and my work sometimes they do more work than the friends because they are continuously talking against me listening to them many people start thinking why you are so much disturbed if you are against forget about the man but they cannot forget me either and the people to whom they are talking about me will become interested just as a curiosity in the beginning but to change curiosity into a longing a desire a search is not difficult it happens almost autonomously Thank you.